Good day, you what? Welcome to Glen Iris. Another day getting amongst the hustle and bustle of the inner eastern suburbs. 10 kilometres from the CBD. 10 minutes into town on the M1, 20 minutes on the Glen Waverley line, city bound trains stopping all stations, 30 minutes on the number 72 tram running along Malvern Road past Chapel Street and Perham. One minute walk from the Thai Princess, the best sate this side of Batmania, and now the corner that I call home. Yep, as you can see, this is my backyard. It's pretty cold in Melbourne. Um, sorry for the delays in the video. There's been a few hiccups in my life at the moment, but I'm happy to keep doing it, and here we go. List. Uh, what have I got written down here? Um, Kieran, so good, so much better, and so improved. You're like, easily got the best video we've made together so far collectively. Jump cuts, amazing. You've got rid of that awkward black part and your talking is really engaging as well as the topics and the ideas of flowing. I refer to you as Kieran, my brother, the sponge, because you just seem to take stuff and run with it. You've already got the most videos out and you're really growing every time dramatically. It's so good. It happened with the Brother Lashinsky videos as well, the Chronicles, and you're only doing it again this time it's huge. <laughs> uh, Pat, I guess your Kira mentioned it as well, but your last video you were reading a lot, and that's um, good, but can be quite distracting at the same time. It doesn't feel like you're talking to us at all. So I'm trying out this new technique now where the camera is super close to my face, and now I'm imagining your head here and Kieran's head here. Hey, Kieran. Hey, Pat. I have a couple notes on that I want to talk about, but it's all, like Kieran says, in my head. Um, and I'm talking to you both, trying to figure out what I'm going to say. <laughs> and then before I get into it, because it probably merits a whole nother video, but um, Cuba. Uh, yeah, the experiences for me were obviously very different. I lived there for eight months, and I can definitely see where, where, where you're both coming from, and I'll go into it much more in detail. For now, I just want to say, how cool is it we've all been to Cuba? I'll do another specific video about Bearport. Bearbrass is still not there yet, but Bearport definitely. I mean, I had to present last week in front of the big wigs of student housing in Melbourne at the uh, annual student housing forum. Uh, that was out of surprise. In the first day, we invited ourselves by just sending an email to the organizer asking if we could have tickets. Sure enough, she gave us tickets, $3,000 worth of tickets. And then on the second day of the event... As I was saying before the camera ran out of battery, we're invited to speak. The fun fact I can share with you both is that 42% of Melbourne City's population are students, making demand for student-specific housing crazy high, consistent and unwavering. Also, staying at one of Melbourne's student colleges costs between $350 and $700 a week. Settling peaks at $260. Stay tuned for the next video to learn more. Okay, that's all for me. Toodaloo for now. Bye-bye.